data. That's the beauty of it. We're, we're seeing people start to look at that model and say, okay, what's the data that we can clean the fastest? Video data we can clean very fast, and the, the monitoring data is, is pretty clear. When we implemented it at St. Joe's, we had a little different problem set, right? So first of all, we had, we had a lot of different data repositories, so we, we had that going. But what happened almost immediately after we made the investment in, in ClearSense was uh, we started doing our, our EMR mig migration. And one of the things we had done in the past, I found all these applications that were still running out there, and I said, why is this still running? It's like, oh, well, we have to get, we have to get archived data. I'd be like, all right, so why don't we shut that off? It's like, well, we're still getting archived data. It's like, it's been four years since we <laughs> migrated. I mean, we're still paying a license on this and this. Exactly. Part yeah. of the ROI on this was to get rid of this license, exactly. and we're still paying it. Right. And uh, Read only too, right? And it's yeah. interesting, because that was not our intended first use case, right. but it's such a natural use case, and we just, we started popping all that data in there, and we were able to shut off our, our old EMRs within months instead of years, and it, it took that. Huge ROI. Huge ROI yeah. very quickly. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing we started to do was, we looked at claims in almost that predictive way that, that you were talking about. We were looking at our claims and, and the stuff we were submitting, and we were looking at patterns and saying, when you submit claims that look like this, we were, we were able to predict which ones were bouncing. Now we've never finished that product. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys ever finished that, yep. but it was, it was an interesting model to look at it and go, look, I think within a very high accuracy rate, we can predict if the claim that this, this entry person just put in is going to be denied or not, right. mm -hmm. and be proactive to potentially get more information before we even send it, have it get rejected, come back and go through another process. But that's the stuff you can do with a data platform, per se. So I'm going to have you tie all this together. Absolutely. Yeah, so I think you're both giving really good use cases, right? These are endpoints that benefit from having good, clean, trusted data. When we started to really look at this and look at code patients, and we started looking at septic patients and other things and looking at the breadcrumbs, we realized that those analytics are only as good as the data that you're feeding into them, right? We started looking at the enterprise of these systems. There's EMR data out there. There's operational data. There's all these different patient monitors. There's also environmental data. Mm -hmm. the, the list is endless as you start looking at all that. And if you can really focus on getting all that data together and trusted and start to build some transparency and governance around it, you can solve for a lot of problems. And that's really been our focus, is being able to figure out how can we get that data centrally located, organized, intelligent, and applicable, so it can actually solve problems. So whether it's claims, or whether it's streaming analytics for a patient event, you can do any of those things.